Let's do a live image trace in Adobe Illustrator. Ready for laser cutting and for 3D printing. New file. Let's go get an image. File open. There's one. We can resize it. Holding shift. With the image trace button. We can change the options. There's an outline trace. Now if we expand, we can ungroup. Make sure the stroke is on 0.25. Now all of these fills double up our information. We can select and delete them. Some of these have compound paths, so we can right click release compound paths. Now those things can be selected individually. We can delete the check. That's another compound path. Now they're separate. File, export, EXF, click OK. We can import into SmartCurve. Make sure it's millimeters. There it is. And that's how to get single lines. You see, as we delete those things, there's only one copy of the lines there for laser cutting. If we want to etch the areas now, we can select the object, right click, fill, and we can give that a scan precision. That's dots per inch. And you'll see that creates the fill over here. If we don't want to do that individually, we can select them all, fill, and that gives us our image. We still have the vector lines in place. If you don't want the vector lines, when you do the fill, we can select all, right click, fill, and we delete the contours. Now it's just the fill. And you'll see as we zoom in, it's an etch. So that's how we get an image to etch nicely in Smart Carve. As vector lines, or to use the vector lines to do a vector etch, and it will go around and laser etch all of those lines, which will look quite nice, also, and do it a whole lot faster.